Is Tory Burch handbags worth it? Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I want to talk about are Tory Burch handbags worth it? Now before I get started, if you like the content on this channel, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. It'll really help a lot. Thank you so much for considering. And for those of you returning back to the channel, welcome back. So on with the video. Tory Burch is one of the top American fashion houses and there are just so many beautiful designs from Tory Burch. A lot of it I really love the timelessness and classic designs that I can see using for many occasions and they come with such an affordable price tag. If you've been following along with me on my YouTube channel, you know I've made multiple shopping trips over to Tory Burch because it's been one of my favorite brands. But I do want to talk about is it really worth it? Is the price tag worth it? So to start off, I want to go over the styling of Tory Burch, the history behind it, the price range, the craftsmanship, like what are the best-selling products, the services, and last but not least, like conclusion, is Tory Burch handbags worth it? So let's get started. So Tory Burch does offer a wide range of products, but for me, I'm going to focus on handbags for this video. In terms of the style, I love how stylish and chic the handbags are. I think that Tory Burch is a good reputable brand within this industry. Some of the best-selling handbags, I would say, is like the Tory Burch Cura Chevron leather convertible shoulder bag, which a lot of people see as a good affordable alternative if you like kind of quilted handbag similar to the YSL Lulu shoulder bag. It gives a total luxe look and I love the, the quilted leather, the, and the gleaming gold hardware, and the crisscross of the quilting just makes the bag look so sophisticated. And then the convertible chain um, makes it really versatile for you to go from shoulder to crossbody wear. The front flap opens up and it's very well organized inside and it comes in various different sizes for the Tory Burch Cura collection. The other handbag that I think Tory Burch is known for is the Lead Raswell leather bag. It's one of the most iconic I think Tory Burch handbags. It's well made and it has like a satchel style bag. It's named after American socialite Lee Radswell. It has a very structured silhouette and has like a gleaming gold twist lock as well. It has a top handle and a crossbody strap so that you can wear it multiple ways. Very sophisticated looking and the interior packs quite a punch despite how it looks on the outside. It comes in many different shades of colors and the price range is quite affordable. I would say that these two handbags are definitely one of the more best-selling handbags within Tory Burch, but there are actually a number of cross shoulder bags that I really love as well. All right, next I want to go over history. So Tory Burch herself founded this company in 2004, it's supposed to be a luxury lifestyle brand, and after opening her first store in Manhattan. And then later on, Tori Burch actually established her own foundation in 2014, supporting other female entrepreneurs, which I really love the idea and the story behind that. The brand itself for branding, I think is just incredibly easy to recognize. It's that double T logo that is on a majority of the handbags. I think it's a very timeless logo and easily recognizable. As for price ranges, I think the Tory Burch handbags range between $228 up to like $1,600 or so. But I think affordability, quote unquote, is really like relative. Designs. I'm not sure. I have some comments that I've heard that like Tory Burch doesn't come well with a lot of original designs. Uh, a lot of the timeless classic designs are just remakes of popular ones like the YSL Lulu or like a Chanel classic flap and they just do a remake of it and put their double T logo. I don't know what you guys think about the idea of that. But I do think that there's no arguing that the designs are very timeless and very classic. As a result, they are very popular. Craftsmanship. Problems with wear over time. That is a big topic that I want to dive into. I have always wondered, like, with such affordable price tags and these timeless classic designs, is Tory Burch handbags 
gonna last over time and from what i've been hearing from other handbag lovers out there and for my personal experience i i'm not entirely on the boat that it is like a super durable handbag although i think majority if not all Tory Burch pieces are made in China they claim that it's high quality uh, but I don't know if it's the same top-notch quality that you would say let's say with Gucci or Prada that are expertly crafted or Celine that are crafted in Italy or France I've been noticing a little bit of poor quality and declining quality in Tory Burch uh, for example, the leather is like bleeding onto the interior, or the bag is peeling around the edges, or the metal loses its color over time, or the stitching becomes undone and the handles sometimes fall off. I have heard just so many horror stories about the durability and wear of Tory Burch handbags that it kind of makes me a little bit disappointed because I really love the design and the, the look of Tory Burch handbags value for tory birch i think it, you're definitely paying for a brand name there are many different fashion houses and handbag houses that will carry handbags of similar design i think that there is value in the tory birch name and the logo itself so i do think that it retains some value but probably like does not do that well in the resale market if you've been using the handbag because of some issues associated with craftsmanship service now i've been a little bit disappointed by customer service at tory birch uh, at the store i've had mixed reviews sometimes like really good experience sometimes not so good experience i would actually love to hear from you guys what your experience with the service of tory birch is like so that is my big roundup of is Tory Burch worth it after going over price ranges, craftsmanship, best selling product, value, services, and like it comes down to what is my final verdict? After looking into all of these aspects, let's answer the question is Tory Burch worth it? I am so torn on this. I think it's a very affordable luxury brand with lots of good designs, but because of the lack or like the declining quality control, uh, I am kind of torn about is it worth it? I think it's affordable mid-range if you like the style of the handbag and you're not looking to wear this for decades, maybe like just for a shorter period of time and you just like the trend and try it out. I think it's a good affordable option to consider. It's definitely a great option for a limited budget, but you're looking for a luxe handbag. But I wouldn't say hope that this bag will last forever. I think that it does have a lot of classic pieces to choose from with lots of different color ranges over at Tory Burch. So, so it's really fun to kind of play around and match with your wardrobe. And these stunning designs are definitely reasons why people keep going back to Tory Burch and wanting to buy more when you're looking for luxury on a budget. But at the end of the day, if you're looking for a handbag that will last for maybe five years or more or decades to come and you're still looking for a luxe look i don't think tory birch is necessarily your best option i mean there are multiple more affordable um, luxury options to consider and some of the handbags that i've been looking at including coach and also mark jacob i think are great options i would love to hear from you what you think about is Tory Burch worth it? Have you had good experiences, bad experiences with the brand? I would love to hear from the comments below. And with that said, thank you so much for joining me for another mommy review. And I'll see you next time. Take care and stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.